Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm the Aquatic Director at the Rogue Valley Family YMCA. And I'm here today to talk to you about water safety. I love the water, and so talking to you about water safety is really important to me. So, do you plan on spending some time in a backyard pool this summer? If you do, let's talk about what we need to know, all right? So, if you're a pool owner, you might want to consider some things about making sure that your pool is safe. You want to have gates, fences, and locks to protect your pool so that you don't have people in your water that are unexpected. If you plan on watching kids at the pool, make sure that you're doing your job correctly. You want to be vigilant in your water watcher duties. You might want to take the water watcher's pledge. It's really simple. Basically, it states that while you're watching people in the water, you will have no distractions. This is important. You should always have adult supervision while kids are swimming in the water. Some of the things that you might want to consider is make sure you're wearing sunscreen when you're enjoying your outdoor activities. It's really important to take good care of your skin. Another thing you can do is you can teach your kids a really simple, basic rule. And that's the reach, throw, row, don't go. That means that when kids are swimming and somebody's in trouble, they don't jump in and try to help them. They throw in some type of flotation object to assist that person, and then they go get adult help. So if you plan on swimming this summer, and you're a non-swimmer, or not a very strong swimmer, you want to make sure that you're wearing a life jacket. You want to make sure that your life jacket fits appropriately. You should look at the tag and the directions to help you on this. You also want to choose the appropriate life jacket for the activity that you are doing, such as rafting or swimming in a pool. The life jackets are different for each activity. So Dylan's going to help me out on a life jacket fit. Inside the life jacket is a weight measurement. So look at that to see whether or not that's correct for the child that you're choosing to put it on to. Then put the life jacket on. Buckle it up. Make sure the straps are tight. You don't want the life jacket to fall off while they're using it. All right? So another thing that's really important is all teens and adults can learn basic CPR. It's a great skill to learn, and it could potentially save a life. Another thing that I want you to remember, when the YMCA is able to reopen their pool, think about coming down and signing up for swim lessons. Swim lessons are fun, and you're learning a skill to save your own life. Remember this summer, most importantly, have fun and be safe.